hello and welcome to my channel so in this today's video i will talk about the behavior of a business object so in the previous video i already discussed about the business object and the different terms so now let's talk about the behavior so for that behavior there are uh, two part on is the behavior definition and another is the behavior implementations so first let's talk about the behavior definition what is that so now you can see the behavior definition is directly related with the root entity that is the one-to-one -one relationship so you already know the root entity um, if you want you can check the previous video so for example like on sales order can be on root entity so this sales order may have the different line item that is called the entity or the child entity and this child entity also may have different uh, schedule line item but uh, only the sales order which is the root entity it will be directly connected with the behavior definition that means that this behavior definition can handle the root entity which is the sales order and also it can handle the subsequence entity or the child entity in this case it can be sales order and sales order is the root entity so the behavior entity also can handle that sales order and also items of the sales order and also corresponding the schedule line item so now let's talk about what is the behavior definitions the so behavior definitions is nothing but it defined what is the behavior of that object business object so for example if you want to insert data if you want to delete data or if you want to edit data this is one kind of behavior of that business ob objects for so for example you may insert a new sales order that is the insert behavior so if you want to delete a sales order that is also delete um, operations for a um sales order and you can also update the sales order and you can also like um uh, approve reject everything can do based on that sales order so that is the reason that is called the behavior definition it's nothing but uh, it just defined it's kind of um it's kind of a declarations or it kind of behave that it just show that what you want to do nothing else like if it is insert then you can just put the keyword insert if it is the delete then you can just delete so there's the behavior definition uh, i will talk in details in the uh, uh, later video but you just understand the, what is the behavior definitions and you can see that one behavior definition will have one to many implementation so for example if you define like that is the sales order and if you want to insert a new sales order that is the behavior definition but you need to write code in the above class so technically this is a behavior implementation means just a behavior above class because in that above class actually you are going to write the code of this insert or you can also for example if you delete or edit you can apply the logic all type of things in the above class so implementations is just a above class where the above part write code for this behavior definition so this is um so in in uh, next video i'll talk about uh, implementation different type of the implementation so now let's talk a little bit about the um, more about the behavior 
so here you can see that that is the root entity this root entity is the here like a cell solder so this root entity the cell solder you can it will have that behavior characteristics and also the operations so what you can do with that like etec etec is kind of um is kind of uh, more technical like the uh, if you insert data that actually it is a segregate some fragments based on that actually it will save data more specifically i'm not going to in details and another thing is the draft draft means that like uh, if you user want to just save data but want to don't want to uh, insert data or finalize data they can just um, just draft like if for example like entity is the sales order and user want to finalize later this sales order then they can just save in a draft mode and also like feature control and authorizations those type of things actually all are related with that sales order what they want to do and another is the operations operation also it can be like um, insert update delete ex, um, approve rejects what operation they want to do on that and um, basically that is the uh, that's all um, and another thing is that business object runtime so business object runtime is it's like if anyone insert update or delete it's then what they want to do so basically there are three part uh, actually that is the interaction interaction is related with the sap gui what they are doing for example they want to edit some things but um edit something they will check everything they cannot directly uh, like um enter and it just save uh, first it will save in the transition buffer and it will check some things and um, from that transition buffer it will follow some sequence of the save i mean that it will check it will check the error and it will also check the number range and finally actually it will save in the uh, persistence data or database so um in the runtime uh, that is a sequence of that how it will it will data will save so um now actually i think um if we summarized then we can directly say that like the business object is is what you want to do on that um root entity or the sales order like if you want to insert update delete then it just a behavior update you can just declare but you are not doing anything and if you want to uh, write the code for delete or for that behavior then that is called the behavior implementation so there's the things and that is the like operations and here like how it is saving so mainly the two part is the behavior definitions and that implementations and uh, i hope you understand and the next video i'll talk about the behavior implementations there are two implementation managed and unmanaged thank you so much